cottage style gardens are huge at the moment as we all continue to embrace the outdoors and appreciate the joy that nature brings. It's perhaps no surprise that a more traditional approach to gardening is growing in popularity. But country style gardens are not just confined to the English countryside. The cottage garden look is one which can be achieved no matter where you live, even in small gardens in urban areas. It's all about those all important plant choices. So traditional cottage gardening encapsulates a handmade do-it-yourself style of living. So when it comes to planting, go for a mix of pretty flowers and edibles. Scented varieties should be chosen where possible as this all adds to the charm of a cottage garden. Many cottage garden plants are nectar rich and will be a magnet for pollinators, but avoid double headed varieties as insects can't get into the plants. Roses are always an essential ingredient in a cottage garden scheme. So if you don't have acres of space, the great news is that you can create this on a micro scale by potting up a container with quintessential cottage style plants. Here's how. Choose a good sized pot that's big enough to take a rose and some smaller plants around the edge and cover the bottom with some crocs for drainage. We're using some broken up polystyrene plug plant trays to line our pot. Then we're going to add some gravel to help it along. Next we're going to fill the pot around three quarters full with a good all-purpose peat-free compost. Now using our hands we're going to dig a hole in the centre of the pot packing the soil firmly to the outside so that it stays in place. Next, carefully remove the pot from your rose and drop the pot into the hole you've made. Gently place the rose into a temporary container for now. We'll come back to it shortly. Now our pot is in the hole, compress the soil tightly around it. We want it to stay in place when we lift the pot out again later. The point of doing this is to make sure that you leave enough space for the rose to go in the centre once you've added your edging plants. Add some extra soil to bring the level up to near the top of the pot. Now we're going to add our small edging plants. We're using lobelia and bacopa around the edges which should give us some lovely soft pastel petals and trailing white flowers. Place these around the edge of the pot, easing a space for them into the packed soil. Once they're in place, you can take more soil and fill any gaps between the plants and pack them in firmly. We don't mind a tight fit. Next it's the tricky bit. We have to remove the rose pot from the centre. This is where we hope our soil doesn't collapse. Lift it gently and lower the rose into its place, taking care not to let the walls crumble around it. Firm the rose into place and add a little more soil to ensure it's planted firmly. Finally, once everything's in, give it a good slosh of water and let it sit in a sunny place. Your pot display will have the best start possible if it's placed in its ideal growing conditions. So if you've chosen correctly, your container should hold plants which favour similar sun and soil conditions. They might prefer a more sheltered spot against a wall or fence to keep it protected from strong winds. Keep deadheading throughout the season and some plants will give you a second flush of flowers. If any perennials you've used get too big, lift and divide them at the end of the flowering season to increase your plant collection. They could be planted in a separate pot or you could find a permanent home for them in a well-chosen spot in a border. For more advice on cottage style gardens and other great gardening information, head to gardeningetc.com.